<laughs> um, the casting director had a note that the actress who played this part had to be under 5'3". And at the time, I was, I believe, 5'3 and a half or 5'3 and three quarters. And I thought that was close enough that I could shrug a little or, you know, lean a bit and nobody would question it. Um, and I wanted to get the job. So essentially, you know, I came in with, uh oh, I don't want to, <laughs> I didn't want to be noticed. I was a little over the height limit. <laughs> and she was scrunching because she definitely looked shorter than me. And I didn't <laughs> learn that until about three, four weeks ago. <laughs> wow. That's, wow. That's, wow. Just three or four weeks ago? <laughs> yes. We were, we were doing a sort of premiere of the season of, of Pretty at, uh, Jeannie, where were we? Disney? Uh, yeah, I think we, I can't remember, Denise. We were yeah. in Burbank. It might have been Paramount, maybe. No, 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 no. Yeah. We were out, I'm pretty it was sure. Warner it was, Brothers. Warner Brothers. Warner, that's where we were. And, um, and she had on these 17 inch heels, and she's gotten a lot <laughs> taller once she thought she could get away with it. And so we were standing next to each other having pictures taken, and I think I came up to her clavicle or something. It was just, I had to speak sharply to her. So she said, she looked at me and she said, what have I taught you? What have I taught you? What have I taught you? I said, I said nothing, and I quickly uh, did a plie. She did. And I came so down to her height. <laughs> So the pictures that you see of that evening with the two of us kind of cheek by cheek are just a terrible lie. <laughs> I, you know what? Uh, soap fans are used to having to deal with some of that stuff, so I don't think they'll hold it against you guys. But they are excited that you're working together again. I think a lot of fans may have wished it was on General Hospital. But let's talk about Pretty. For folks who maybe haven't checked it out yet, how would each of you describe it? Let me start with, with Jeannie. How would you describe the craziness that is pretty? Mm. I, I would call it just that. It's, it's very broad uh, camp humor. It's very politically incorrect. No uh, ethnic group or group of any kind is safe, um, which makes it safe. You know, the poking fun at everyone. Um, and uh, it was a chance to do something for me that was, you know, I don't often get asked to do. So um, I had a good time with it. I think that it's uh, wildly funny and well worth, you know, the few minutes of time that it asks of you on the Internet. How did your uh, participation come about in this, Jeannie? Uh, Denise called me and said she had a friend, uh, Steve Silverman, and that every time she'd worked with him, it was a really wonderful experience and that, that he got her to do things that she'd never done before. And, um, and I thought to myself, you know, Denise has never asked me for anything ever in my entire life. And she's been there for me every single time I've ever really needed someone, uh, without fail. I went through a rough time a couple of years ago and I was in LA in a hotel. And I talked to her on the phone, and she says, are you all right? And I said, you know, I'm really not. And she said, where are you? And I said, well, I'm in the, I think, the Peninsula Hotel or something like that. And she said, I'll be there in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, honestly, for someone who has always been there for me at the drop of a hat all my life, this is the only other thing she's ever asked from me. So I said, you know, absolutely, I'm doing it. I can't tell you how guilty that has made me feel because what if she didn't have a good time? Oh, my Lord. Oh. Can you believe she feels guilty? How come she doesn't crow? She should crow because she knows that I love her. <laughs> I, I must say that she, um, I don't know, this is mushy. Um, first of all, to work with Jeannie, it's like if you were a musician or a singer, and you find the, the sound either from another instrument or voice that blends with yours and that the two of you together can just soar, that's what I found working with Jeannie. And so as a performer, that becomes so precious to you because it literally, it is touching the hem of God. It is beyond belief how you can feel doing that. So... Very, very precious place in my life. And she was this 
little girl. She was like 15 years old, I think, when I first met her. 15, Jeannie? 14? I was 14. 14. And yeah. so unbelievably sweet. A, a mendacious liar about how tall she was, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but you could not believe the sweetness and the goodness of this person. And she was there on her own in the midst of this very grown-up, very high speed, very high pressure, very, very high-powered world. And she grew up into this phenomenon, and you just wanted to put your arms around her and hold her. She didn't have a sweet 16 party, you know. We had to I had to say she's got to have a sweet 16 party, and, and um, she was missing that whole part of life. She was loving what she was doing, I think. But she, I... Never, I don't think I ever said this to her, but I certainly in my heart adopted her. I didn't have my own daughter, and she had a perfectly good mother. So I'm sort of embarrassed to say this. But in my heart of hearts, the relationship on the screen mm, f- flowed and spread into my being, too. So, yeah, okay, I, think that's that the relationship, I think the relationship on the screen was a fulfillment of both of our wishes. You know, yeah. I think we were both lacking something in our lives, and we found it together on screen, and we shared it with people, and that's why it's uh, that's why it's a bit bigger than life, and that's why people recognize it. I think also what would be fun for fans is if you take a look at my work, and you take a look at Denise's work, and you really analyze it, you can find places where I literally have stolen Denise Alexander's timing and some of her reading and certain bits of her style because I was young enough when I was working with her that she truly imprinted on me. And there's actually a moment of it in Pretty. I don't know if people realize it or not, but there is one uh, moment where I say, TMI, too much information. You look at that reading, look how I did it. Even Denise, you look at it. And I know... That's my favorite thing that you did in the whole show. That's because it's yours, honey. I totally stole your good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. You, you did that so well. <laughs> oh, we, we don't have that, but we do have a, a little bit of a clip of the two of you from Pretty the Series for fans to check out. That's an interesting dynamic. So let's cue that up and everybody check out this clip from Pretty. So what was your relationship like with your own mother? Oh, fun, 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 fun. How's yours? I'm not the one here for therapy. Imagine she's a wonderful mother. Actually, um... Kind, sweet, smart, accomplished, talented, highly regarded, but always, always, always has time to make cookies for her little girl. Not exactly. She was a bit more like you. What the hell does that mean? So this is an interesting uh, dynamic. Jeannie, you play a pageant therapist. What exactly is a pageant therapist? Uh, It was meant to be the voice of reason in this very zany piece. So um, (laughs) it was actually an easy thing to fulfill because they weren't really asking me to come in and be funny. They were asking me to come in and be realistic. Um, And that's what I went for. Um, So basically, you know, uh, it was meant to terrify the character of Michael uh, because (laughs) the producer felt that that would be the hardest thing for him to have to deal with is reality. Well, the thing that I like most about this is it seems that Dr. Kate is, uh, when I'm watching this, Dr. Kate makes all the same expressions and makes some of the same comments that I would make as I'm watching this web series. So uh, I think uh, talking about the voice of reason, (laughs) it certainly seems to be. Yeah, it was a good job for me, and it was something that um, I would definitely return to if I were asked. It was a very positive experience, and I felt when it was all said and done, I wished I'd had more time with them because it was uh, very creative. That's how they get you. That's how I felt last year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is, you it know, is the wonderful. The funny part of it is that they've, the Steve Silverman's of the world, the really smart guys, they've figured us out. They know that we'll come to work. If it's fun, that we you don't even have to pay us. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. So <laughs> we'd like to hear on fun. this show. <laughs> yeah, that's true, man. If it's fun, we'll go. <laughs>